Hi, this is Danny V for Mason County Press, and this is The Scoop, brought to you by Urca Auto Center and Safe Harbor Credit Union. Hey, I'm here with two lovely ladies from the Chamber of Commerce, and it's the Scottville, Ludington Area, Area Chamber, Chamber of Commerce. Commerce. See, yep. see yeah. I, I can be trained. <laughs> the lovely Miss Brandy Henderson, and oh, I screwed up her last name. No, you're fine. I'm you're fine. fine. Okay. You're fine. Because that's how we know her. Yes. It's okay. Whatever. And then the lovely Miss <laughs> Polly Myers. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Yeah, you nice to see you too. We got a lot of exciting things going on. Yes, we I mean, do. Tomorrow night, big deal. The five yep. by five. Yep. Big yep. momentum competition thing. At, yep, I don't Epworth, understand yeah. it at Epworth. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, clue me in. Tell me a little about this. Who who wants to go first? I'll, I'll, I'll start. So <laughs> five by five is like a mini version of our big momentum business plan competition. Okay. So the idea of behind the five by five is we have five um, business ideas making a five minute pitch and one winner will walk away with $5,000. Woo! Yeah. And it's open to any businesses or how, yeah. do they, how, so how did they get there? Sure, so it's kind of, um, it's really for meant for a startup business or mm. a, an idea that maybe hasn't even gotten off the ground and it's just kind of seed money to get that that person rolling and that idea off the ground um, and then the winner of the five by five has the opportunity to be in the top 10 for consideration for the big momentum ah, competition. Okay. so it's, it's sort of like a preliminary but um, it's just a, a cool way to get some of these entrepreneurs who maybe have an idea kind of off the ground and give them some incentive to do so Preliminary with cash. I like cash. that idea. Yes. I like that yeah. idea. Yep. And so, Polly, what exciting things do you have on tap coming for me? I, I heard you, well, I don't say grumbling, but you were having <laughs> fun. We were, we, 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 we were talking about the big art thing going on this weekend. Yep, the See, 36th I it art annual Gold 36. Coast Art Fair. Yep, started in 1983. And uh, takes place in this beautiful Rotary Park. We use both sides of the park. We'll close Lewis Street for the weekend. Uh, Saturday 10 to 5, Sunday 10 to 4. There's about 160-ish crafters that take up about 190 or so spaces in the park. 160? Yep. That's a lot of art, folks. And I'm telling you, you want to get down here and <laughs> see that. Yeah, it's arts, crafts, it's kids' toys, it's jewelry, it's painting, drawing, food. there's food. There's food? We have our local uh -huh. people. We'll you got my attention. The Maple House right here in town will have maple syrup and maple candy. That's amazing. Um, the Lake Effect Apiaries will have honey and beeswax candles. Sister Bees will be right over here on the corner having uh, their uh, lip balm and skin products and stuff from right here in town. Um, so I think Red Rooster will be with them and have gotcha. some drinks available as well. So A little um, bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. That sounds like yeah. fun. You, know, yeah. you can get a $5 I mean. bracelet. You can get a $300 necklace. You can get a $5 photo, you know, piece of photo art. Mm -hmm. Or you can get a six hundred dollar one. You know, I mean, depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. So for all tastes, basically, all it's not tastes. just yep. watercolors or show. pastels. It's, yeah. it's everything. Yeah, it's a craft show. It's not a fine arts fair. It's not judged or juried. It's not exclusive. There's probably forty or fifty different kinds of jewelry. Nice. Three or four potters or pottery people, ceramics people. And you know. and, and the weather is what I call chamber weather. It's supposed yeah, to be really nice. Yes, yes. Be nice. Perfect. Yep. I like that. Yep. Yeah. They'll come in uh, Friday night. Um, they'll come in and they can start setting up Friday afternoon. We have security in the park Friday night and uh, starts 10 a.m. We have food concessions too for the nice. people. Nice. Uh, Setting up. For the crafters and for the, the people and, coming And the general job. public. Nice. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, so five a, different food vendors, and they're all nonprofits, so it's a fundraiser for them as well. So gotcha. the Optimus will be here, the Rotary will be here, Crave will be here with DDA, uh, the Road Crew Galley will be here with Cove, and DNM Concessions will be here for the Old Engine Club. So there's a whole lot a of things. Of food, there's you know, food, everything going on yeah, here, yeah. plus a whole lot of things to look at. A hundred, a hundred and sixty different booths. That's that's pretty. You'll yeah. take the day. Yeah, and it's yeah, gonna yeah. be a perfect day, and. Something we do here in Ludington. Hopefully, I love it, it won't be too perfect, so you're not at the beach. Come here first, then go then to the go. beach. <laughs> That's right. The so. water's cold. Come yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, it should be a great weekend. Um, everybody's looking forward to it. Have lots of returning crafters. The show will probably be more than 50% full before next year's show starts because we do a free booth drawing on Sunday afternoon. Nice. For those who sign up for next year. So. 
um, yeah, come down and check it out. See, I mean, you might find a home decor piece. You might find a beautiful gift. You might find something you didn't know you were looking for. Exactly. So, yep. Yeah. Exactly. And if you see me looking off camera, I'm the big mouth. I always look at the microphone <laughs> because I've done that my entire life. And I'm in again for Kate Krieger. She has a personal thing she's taken care of. So, hey, but they gave me fun stuff to talk about. <laughs> so, head on out. Now, the 5x5 five five is being held where? That is out of Upworth, and they are a partner with um, this 5x5. Five five. So, the Upworth Assembly and the Upworth Church Association are our partners. So, from 6 o'clock till about 8 will be out there, so it's open to the public. Come and listen to the presentations. Um, you'll be able to see some of the ideas and the products um, beforehand, and it's a really nice evening out there. Nice. Yeah. So something to do there, and then Saturday and Sunday, yeah, right here in Rotary Park. Come well, shopping ladies, in the park. Shopping in the park. I like that. <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so much. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Yeah, this will be a fun weekend for everybody. Yes, yes, it will. I was wondering what I was going to do Sunday. Now I have something cool to do. There you Come go. Shopping. We'll see you here. Yeah, come shop. <laughs> Don't see me here. <laughs> I'm Danny V from Mason County Press and Irk Auto Center and our friends at Safe Harbor Credit Union. That's a scoop for today. Hi, this is Danny V and I'm at Irk Auto Center and these are the new arrivals. Here's a rare find, 2013. Ford F-150, regular cab, short box, 4x4, AC, and only 73,000 miles. Come on down! 2016 Jeep Compass High Altitude, leather, moonroof, nav, nav is short for navigation, you know, GPS built in. 4x4, one owner, no accidents, come and see this one at Urk Auto Center. Wow, 2018 GMC Yukon XLSL. What the heck does that mean? I'm just, I just wanna know. Extra large, small, I'm not sure. Super clean, 20 inch wheels, brand new tires, eight passengers, four by four, only one owner, no accidents. It's a hard find I hear. Come on, check it out, right here at our friends at Urca Auto Center.